Hello and welcome to DFS Coach Talk. Today is Wednesday, June the 15th, 2022. I am Joe Sarvati, affectionately known as Coach, and I am here to go over a very busy Wednesday MLB baseball schedule. We have 15 games scheduled, no weather concerns anywhere. There are some games that's going to be extremely hot, but uh, we will mention those as we go here. But no, no delays, no cancellations, 15 games starting at 1.05, so we've got afternoon games, several different slates between DraftKings, FanDuel, and Yahoo, and the last game starts at 10.10 10 p.m. tonight. So about uh, 15 hours, <clears throat> excuse me, about 15 hours of baseball on the, the docket for you today. All right, let's jump right in. For those that are going to play the early slate, I'm just going to go over my selections and picks from different games throughout the day. So some should apply to one of the slates, hopefully, that you're playing out there. Uh, I'd like to thank you for joining us here at Coach Talk. If you'd like to become a member, go to dfscoachtalk.com. You can sign up for as little as three days, uh, and you can do that for 10 bucks. Can't beat it. And great day. Wednesdays are always a great day to sign up because you get our Wednesday, Thursday, Friday uh, action, which is very extensive. All of our MLB, all three days. And when you become a member, you get everything that we've got. Obviously, the U.S. Open in golf. Very excited for that. That podcast posts later today. We'll be posting lineups uh, uh, tonight for the Thursday start of the U.S. Open. And then Friday, we do weekend-only lineups, so all kinds of golf action. And then, of course, we have uh, tomorrow, Game 6 of the NBA Finals. So great time to get involved here at Coach Talk. All right, let's dive right into this. I'm going to go with my pay-up pitcher. And I'll tell you this, this is a really tough pitching slate today is in a negative way. Yesterday, we had all kinds of great choices all kinds of aces, uh, pitchers in great spots. Today, it is rough. Uh, this was the longest it took me to determine my pitching selections, especially the value uh, sele selection, because there's so many guys coming back from injury, coming off terrible starts in a bad situation versus team, field. I mean, it is going to be a lot of uh, runs today and probably not the greatest pitching. So finding those good pitchers is going to be really at a premium. All right. I'm going to go with uh, my pay up pitcher. It's the Los Angeles Dodgers, Tyler Anderson. Yes, he's seven and zero, decent ERA for sure at 3.07, but he's a lefty against the angels. Angels do have guys back. I get it. But still, Otani and Walsh and Marsh, they have lefties that uh, I think Anderson can handle pretty well. You know, Trout hasn't quite been in uh, the Trout that we know. He's fought off some injuries. Rendon has started back a little slow. So I just, I think, you know, from the standpoint of the Angels strike out second most of the entire uh, MLB, so... There's going to be strikeouts there for Anderson. He's uh, obviously pitching with a lot of confidence. He's at home in Dodger Stadium, and his price is right. Um, you know, he's he's uh, decently priced on all three sites, 9500 on uh, Fan, uh, FanDuel or DraftKings, is it? Uh, let's see here. I'm going to look real quick. Yeah. Yeah, and that's his highest. So his his price is very fair. You're not having to go up into the 10,000 range here for a top pitcher. And uh, just a nice uh, ace to have up your sleeve here for the late game today. Um, again, very tough sledding for pick, pitching, uh, picking the value pitcher. And I'm going to go with a guy that I have not picked this year. But I think that uh, he's in a pretty good spot. And I think it makes sense for him. And it's on the opposite end of the scale. It's the 105 game. Uh, Anderson's in the 10-10 the game. And that's Kyle Gibson from the Philadelphia Phillies. He's going against a Marlins team that I think he can handle. They do have some hot bats in there in Solaire 
and Aguilera's, uh, but they have a lot of outs at the bottom of that lineup with uh, Birdie and Rojas and Stallings, etc. So uh, I like the spot he's in. He's only 7,000 on DraftKings. That's where I'm definitely loading him up. He is 8,500 on FanDuel, 33 on Yahoo, but Gibson in a decent spot here. He's four and two with a 4.41 ERA. Marlins are 11th in the league and and striking out. And I'm not doing somersaults over the pick, but for the early slate, um, you know, when you look at the pitching, you're going to say, "Wow, it is extremely thin," and there's a lot of risk. I mean, this is one of those days where you have to be careful. You don't roster a guy that takes a minus score. That's for sure. All right, let's go to um, my fade pitcher. And it's a guy that I like, and I've used him a lot, and I think he'll be highly owned today. And that's Zach Gallen. He's 4-2 with a 295 ERA. So, you know, he's going against the, the terrible Cincinnati Reds. But I, I would say not so fast. The Reds have a lot of guys back. Now that they have India at the top of that uh, lineup, Drury we know is hit. Votto's been on fire. And they added Farmer back in, Senzel. They have Mustakas and Alomar and Garcia at the bottom of that lineup. So it does look a lot better now that they have a few of those guys back. Uh, Gallon just has not looked super sharp in his last couple of starts, specifically the last one uh, where he pitched an inning and two-thirds and, and gave up seven hits, six runs, uh, and two of them were homers. So uh, before that, he was decent, but he's been inconsistent. Even against Kansas City, he got smacked around for six earn. So I just, uh, you know, not like, don't like the situation right now for Gallon, and I think he's going to be fairly well owned because the pitching is so thin, and it is against the Reds, who you know people know, look at their record and see that they have not played well this year, obviously. And uh, I think uh, he could be a sneaky fade that, uh, you know, really could help uh, help your cause in your uh, tournaments. All right. How about we turn things right to BVP? So let's jump on BVP. A lot of opportunities here. A lot of good selections. Um, I went with Ronald Acuna yesterday. I thought he was going to have a big game and he did not. But I'm going to go back to him today. He's going against Eric Fetty, and uh, he's faced him 11 times. He's hit at three hits, but two of them are for extra bases. One of them is for a homer. He's walked four times. He's stolen bases against him. So, again, a five-tool guy that I think, you know, in this situation uh, should be able to hit Fetty, get some steals, maybe pop one out of the park. So I'm going to go with uh, Ronald Acuna, even though I'm a little mad at him from yesterday for not blowing it up for me. But, uh, you know, I think he bounces back here in this game. Uh, HR call, it's a weird one. I'm going to go with Cedric Mullins. How about that? Cedric Mullins is facing Jose Barrios. He's four for 10 off of him. Uh, He sees him well. He's walked against him. So, you know, just a guy that I think is ready. He's hot. I think Barrios has a couple of tough ones in that lineup to get by. I think Mancini's also a threat to homer off of him. But I like Cedric Mullins. I don't know if it's going to be a leadoff homer at the beginning of the game, but I think that uh, I think he can take Barrios deep here in Toronto, a little bit more homer friendly than it is in Baltimore anymore since they changed the fences. So a little bit of a, a long shot home run call there uh, in Cedric. Mullins. All right, let's talk about stacks here. Before we do that real quickly, I want to thank our presenting sponsor uh, for this podcast, and that's Prize Picks. If you go to prizepicks.com, put in the promo code COACHTALK on your first deposit, and they will match you dollar for dollar all the way up to 100 bucks. So take advantage of that. Prize Picks has been uh, terrific and definitely some money to be made there. All right, in for stacks, I'm going to go, first of all, with the Houston Astros. They are playing um, their game time. Let's see here. Uh, I just want to double check because the, these game times are all over the place. They're a 205 game, but they're, they're playing in Texas. 
Uh, the roof will be closed there, so it's not going to be ungodly hot. But they're pitching a, a rookie, Tyson Miller. Uh, not good information on him that I could find anything out about him being a top candidate uh, in any stretch. So I think Houston takes advantage of him. Um, there were a plethora of Houston guys I were, was going to pick for my home run call, but uh, between Altuve, Bregman, Alvarez, Guriel, Tucker, I think all those guys have the potential of going deep. And Texas bullpen isn't exactly stellar. So uh, Houston Astros, definitely a strong stack for uh, the early slate. And then <clears throat> I'm going to go with the captain obvious pick here, and it is what it is. A lot of times I fade it, but I like both sides of the uh, game in course tonight. It's at 840. It's Cleveland versus Colorado, Pilkington versus Gomber. And I think both of these guys can get shelled. It's going to be warm there. Um, the ball's going to be flying. And uh, 90 degrees in Colorado is a scary stuff. The over-unders set at 12. So you've got it. I think you have to have a stack of these combination of these guys from both sides. Now you can spend way up for the Ramirez and Crones and guys like that. <clears throat> but there's some good deals on the Rosarios, uh, Millers, Gonzalez, Daza, you know, Grishik. Those guys all have the potential uh, of going deep here. So two, two lefties in Pilkington and Gomber, I think both uh, can get lit up here. And I definitely am going to have a lot of exposure to that game. All right, let's jump to prize picks before we wrap it up and see where what we can find there. I like to go there live when I do the podcast because they're always updating um, and adding stuff and sometimes changing some of the lines. So you have to grab them when you can grab them. All right, I'm going to go to uh, make sure that that has not changed. Pitcher fantasy score. Um, I am going with uh, Austin Gomber under 19 and a half pitcher fantasy score. And I'm going to go right back with our my other guy there. And just sometimes it's as obvious as the nose on your face and you have to take it. Connor uh, Pilkington under 21 and a half uh, fantasy points. I think they both get run out of this game, uh, maybe even single digits kind of scores. But at most, I have either one of these guys at 15 or 16 fantasy points. And with 19 and a half and 21 and a half, I mean, I'll take that all day long. And then <clears throat> for hitting hitter fantasy score, um, Let's see if this guy was added because we want to, uh, you know, there's it's you could take guys in here uh, that sometimes you can't afford to fit into your your lineup on, uh, you know, in at, on FanDuel, DraftKings or Yahoo. But on here, you're taking a number so you don't have to worry about sal uh, salaries. All right. I'm going to take over. I'm going to give you two hitters today as well. Over uh, Ronald Acuna Jr., eight and a half. Again, with a combination of everything, I think he gets there. And, <clears throat> of course, my home run pick over Cedric Mullins. It's only seven, so I love that in Toronto for sure. So there's a handful of prize picks, uh, 20 to win 200. That would be a nice deal right there. So that is it, my friends. Short and sweet today. Wanted to get this out early enough for those playing the early slate. Uh, keep an eye out for... Um, our PGA podcast that's going to be coming out shortly for the U.S. Open tomorrow. And then this afternoon, we have the NBA podcast for tomorrow's Game 6, and, and Crash and Deb will join me for that one. Thanks again to uh, Prize Picks, our presenting sponsor. Don't forget to use that promo code COACHTALK when you deposit there. And then uh, if you want to join us, like I say, check us out on Twitter at DFS Coach Talk. I am at Joe Sarvati and uh, go to dfscoachtalk.com. Check us out. We would love to have you as part of the Coach Talk family. Also, uh, you know, shout out to one of our members, Have Faith. He had a big takedown in the NBA 
And very smartly, he, he gave me a shout and wanted to do one of our one-on-one -on -one strategy sessions that we offer to all of our members. And it's you don't usually get that request with somebody when they're hot and having a big win. Usually it's when they're struggling. But to have Faith, uh, you know, to, one in his corner is he wanted to make sure he was playing the right contest selections and bankroll managing his winnings. And that's the way you have to do it. And that's what we teach here at DFS Coach Talk. We want a long-term sustainable growth of your bankroll uh, in DFS. And that's what we're all about. So uh, keep it rolling. Have faith. I think uh, uh, you are definitely on a roll. So um, if you're looking for a, a definitely a um, DFS partner that's going to help you along the way in, in several areas uh, to be uh, successful in DFS, then we are the spot for you. All right. If you're watching here on the way out, as we're saying goodbye, hit the thumbs up real quick. That means a lot to us. Uh, helps us move up the algorithm on YouTube. Give us a comment, subscribe, hit the alert button up in the corner. For example, if you do that now and you hear this podcast, it'll give you an alert later today when our PGA and NBA podcast post. All right, have a fantastic day, and uh, we'll certainly be back again tomorrow when we look to crush it in MLB, DFS, and prize picks.